everyone, and we are from War Warlock of Firetop Mountain. Continuing our adventure mountain as our uh, just beautiful rhino barbarian man who can't read good. And I actually meant to click west there. Oh, looks like we're checking out east. Step into a huge room. It's a regular room. And the first thing you notice is a huge ornate stone altar carved into dwarven ruins. Cannot decipher. Scattered around the altar are piles of objects, weapons, animals, goblets, and other miscellany. Everything is made from silver. Silver, ugh. You take a closer look at the altar. Um, I don't like the fact that everything's made out of silver. That is, uh... I, mm, I feel like... Objects, weapons, animals, goblets, miscellany, everything solid. I feel like it's a it's a King Midas situation, but with silver. Can I get a silver weapon? Place open the altar, and then he gasps in moments that it's transformed into silver. You take your silver weapon from the altar, testing it in the air. Uh, the weapon somehow seems stronger than before, but he can't explain how. No matter, any help is well going against the horrors lurking within Firetop Mountain. Sit on it. Nah. Um, search for the objects. You rummage through the objects. The animal sculptures in particular are quite lifelike. Seem to all have an expression of shock. Goblets, daggers, cutlery, belt buckles are made of of objects. Appear to be a crucifix buried in the objects, and you take it. Do not sit on the altar. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'll just die. I do not want to turn into a big giant silver rhino. Open and hear the sound of sound of fast flowing water. So we are in uh, getting close to the area of the dead, the di dawn of the dead, 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 dead people area. Uh, white shaped wood. Take pieces of wood. Take bits of wood and stow in your pack. I'm not sure exactly what the Y shaped dousing rod look uh, do. I pick up the rope, suddenly comes to life, and it's a snake. It's a snake rope. We don't have a lot of luck. I guess rhinos aren't particularly lucky animals. Probably why they get poached all the time. And we failed. As rope tightens, you squirm and struggle, and I take a small amount of damage. Ugh, magic rope. Ooh, water. Head towards the riverbank. Cross the bridge. Uh, to your left, there's a rusted bell to sign. You can't read. A small raft. And a rickety old bridge. Must keep dry. Ring bell. Punt the raft. Let's punt the raft. Risk the bridge. Side swim. Or just bridge. Let's go across the rickety bridge. Last time we took the raft, but we can't read good. I don't know. You know, let's just let's role play a little bit. Your few steps due to your. Oh yeah, we're we're fat. You begin to swim, but you soon notice your splashing is attracting something else. Swim, 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 Rhino. A huge jaw opens in front of you. It's a crocodile. Fight the crocodile. In the water, seems really awkward. That's a big crocodile. <laughs> Alright, uh, Magic's gonna move right there. He did not. Come, come at me. I'll just keep slapping you. I'm way, I'm very slightly more skilled. Uh, slightly got a better roll. He shoved me out of the way. Uh, right out, charger. Oh, 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 my. Oh, we. We annihilated the poor thing. Swim north. Keep swimming, Rhino. Rhinos aren't particularly strong swimmers. I guess our Rhino Man has figured it out, though. And half-finished boat. So let's go to the west. This is Werewolf Man who holds the key. And you know what we're going to do. Uh, go through the door. Go through the door. It's old man sleeping with his guard dog. And we're, we're a very violent Rhino. So what we're going to do is just murder his dog. <laughs> the dog springs as he moves. Um, two meters from you, a blast of fire shoots from your mouth, from its mouth. Oh yeah, I forgot it's a fire-breathing dog. Uh, you dive out of the way. Distinctively, you dive out of the way. And I murder his poor dog, and he's super mad, turns to a werewolf, and attacks me. We've been through this before. Which I totally deserve, you can't just go around murdering people's dogs. I forget how he maneuvers. Why did you go that way? Doesn't he like... Nope. Alright. Made for him to do something weird. Yeah, because he does that. And then he turns, and I'm just going to rhyme charge him. No, he... Of course, he... Ugh. Yeah, I mobilized him. Now we just slap him. He can't... Interesting. Wish I could still charge. Yeah, he can't run away from me. Charge him! Charge him! 
You know, defeated the world. Got my luck. Got the luck back. All right, take the key. I can't read. Open his larder. Take some eggs. Oh yeah, they weren't good, and then I lose luck because they're not good, not good eggs. Uh, head to the wooden building. These are skeletons. Oh, we can just bust in and fight skeletons, right? We are a very violent rhino, after all. Use the boathouse key. Enter the boathouse. How can I read boathouse? How do I know what that means? Attack skeletons. There's a lot of skeletons. Oh, but I did not overestimate our ability to fight skeletons. Oh, we got... I got outplayed super hard. Mm, hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Alright, we're good. He guarded it, though. Okay, we're off to play a little bit smarter. Now we step back. Attack forward. Bet she's going to move forward. I bet they're both. No, he's going to step sideways. He might move forward. Let's uh, dual strike. Beautiful. I better round charge that guy. Who is still guarded? Oh. I killed one of the skeletons. I'm just not even going to move. I'm just going to attack right there. Looks like none of them are really attacking sideways. Are you? Do you always block on that side? Beautiful, glorious, good job, everyone. I uh, definitely need to sidestep out of that. <sighs> Mr. Big Skeleton, I don't appreciate that. And attack him here. Clashing, please hit him. I got, we gotta get some damage in here. We're getting. starting to get a little beat up. He's mobilized, he's gonna hit me though. Let's rhino charge over to this guy. Ah, uh, really. Let's get one anyway. Well, of course he guarded. Why? Why wouldn't he have guarded? Alright. Move here, we should be fine. Ah, oh, no, he's. I got, I got cleaved. Fine, we get we can clash with these skeletons, we have a much higher skill than they do. Never mind, I lost the clash. And then he's gonna hit me, we gotta back off that. No, he only attacks one. He doesn't have a long spear. That guy has a long spear though. Don't charge that guy. Just punch that guy. Alright, no one down, no one bites the dust. Step back here. We're we're very close to being done. I'm actually gonna step away from that guy. And charge into him, push him back. And he slaps me, he's gonna move here. I'm going to immobilize him or just kill him. He's immobilized and dead. That was a rough fight. You gotta feed the skeletons. Step over the bones of the floor, take a close look at the boathouse, pick up a study few of the tools scattered around, hammers, nails, chisels. They appear very ordinary. Your bang sound come from beyond the north door and I have time. For one further search for an us to react. Uh, look through door drawers and benches. Check the tools. Let's look through drawers and benches. Drawers are full of nails, tacks, miscellaneous beats, and some money. As you do, you hear a noise in the north door. You best leave before you're caught. I want to see what's going on. I don't see what's in there. I don't see a door. I don't see. I don't see what's happening. I don't see what comes comes for me. Uh, northeast. Let's go to that's Oriana's house, I believe. We can continue. Open the door. Hello, Oriana. Do you have anything which I can actually buy? You can get provisions, invisibility, fire protection, strength, skill, fortune. Let's get... How many provisions do I have? Yeah, we can probably use, like, one more provisions. How much money do I have? 56, not a lot. Grab the provisions, fire protection, and that's all we got. Goodbye. Thanks, thanks, thank you for your, thank you for the transactions. To the domain of the dead. This tower, we did, we did that tower earlier. 
We did that tower last time. And I'm gonna go through the staircase, the foreboding staircase, the domain of the dead. Mm, bats. Ugh. Oh, oh, that's how I imagine Rhino would speak. Alright, they attack in front of themselves. Good to know. I am a genius. Let's clash with this guy. Nope, never mind. He dodged out the way. Well, let's just attack you then. You guys do attack diagonally. Oh, you're not just attacking. Okay, never mind. Got it. I'm very hurt. This is a bit of a problem. Wow, he actually predicted my move. He's dead, though. But I'm getting kind of hurt as well. I think they're both going to... Were they moving sideways or forward? I don't know. I hope they move sideways. There we go. Double mobilization. Dodge there. Kill that guy. Oh, I thought we were so clever for a second. Uh, just, just clash and whatever. We should be able to win that clash pretty easily. Feed the giant bats. Let's go take a nap on the bench. Explore the graveyard first. I don't think we. Yo, we have very poor luck. So it's unlike we find anything. We super failed. Nothing of interest. No, no. Where's the where's the bench? Can I not rock the bench? Can I? Can I? Is I don't want to climb. I want to sit down on the bench. It's right here. I want. It's right here. I, I need this bench is right here. Oh, I can't res. Mm. We have three resurrection stones. We'll be all right. I'd rather just heal. In fact, there we go. Very inefficient, but I. God, I just couldn't sit on the bench. Hello, ghosties. Uh, do they move sideways? They do sidestep. In fact, and I believe they attack on the diagonal as well. They totally do. Oh, I just said they sidestepped. Don't they? Do they not sidestep? They, to they totally sidestep. Alright. Punch him in the face. Dead ghost. Rounds charge still charging. He might sidestep into you. He does. He's dead. Charge this one back. Yeah, then finish them off. Alright, those ghosts are actually in the same chance. You have defeated the ghosts. Why you know me, Jean Murphy? Last spirit, you have proved yourself worthy 23 of testing grounds. Enter the main data at your peril. Lord of the Undead will not be as kind as we would have been. Lord of the Undead, how do I find that man? Uh, out of the corner of the darkness, only disappear when you turn to face them. Yeah, enter the domain of the dead. Where are we? Some sort of bridge? A uh, ladder leads upwards. There's no way to support your large size, so I can't go up the ladder. Let's go to the right. They attempt to walk through the right passageway, suddenly you feel a strange force. As the hundreds of invisible hands are pushing you back. What spell is this? Your destiny and eyes is not along this path, Rhino Man. You you need to go left, is what he's telling me. Alright, thanks for the help. Uh suddenly Skeleton Guard stations shudder to life. Can't just clomp around the stairs. And they did they are disgusted with my general appearance, I suppose. Can't blame them. Giant rhino man and everything. Uh, do you guys step or attack first? I think you're going to attack first. You did. And now you step forward. Seems to be pretty common for enemies in this game to always attack first, and then after they attack, they'll try to... They'll try to move towards you. And what, you attack diagonally? No, you're just dead, okay. <laughs> Easy guards, defeat the skeleton guards. Climb steps. I need to test the bridge of the dead or something? Is that where the ghouls are? No, because he, he, you can get there from going right, right? Is this where I'm supposed to be? I'm testing something. I'm here to find something. The cowardly beast has arrived. How you atone for your sins? Oh, is this my special? This must be, this must be it. 
Large sinister chamber, large sculpted mural. We've been here before, but we couldn't do anything. Not coward, not afraid. Stiveling pig, it is you who abandoned your soldiers at arm. arms. You who turned tail and ran. You who betrayed your own kind. So I fled from battle. Sir, mur mur murdered comrades could not stay. And now your life is forfeit, hunted by your own kind. We'll fight. So be it, 23 of Kragen Heights. You shall face your fears. The soldiers who fell in battle because of you. There's an earth of whispering, and you feel the hairs on your back, and your leathery neck stand on end. Not afraid. Fear nothing. And face your fears. <laughs> Who are the very slain warriors that we had failed to protect? Or that we blame ourselves of for the deaths of? What are these idiots doing? Just get over here so I can attack. Someone get over here so I can punch him. Really? Uh, dual strike. And go that way. I think I'm gonna get rhino charged. If you're not careful. I can't rhino charge back. One, two, three, you're gonna get hit by at least one if I take a step back though. Alright, I didn't get rhino charged. Come on, hit him! Alright, yep, you guys are gonna be dead again. How's that feel? And you're gonna move here, I assume, and there guy can't attack me, so hit you in the back. And then hit them both. Oh my well, we are just crushing this guy. Punch him in the face. Round charge him. He's dead. We got a little beat up, but we took out our um already dead soldiers. You go see that person's vanished and the inky blackness lifts once again revealing the unsettling room. Once more you hear the ghostly whisper. So twenty three you have vanquished your demons of rage, sorrow, and guilt. Impressive. Most would be driven mad. Do not fear death. Jeepers Creepers, help 23 faces fears. Congratulations, player. You have completed the quest of 23 to reward you for my bravery. Please accept the portion of my figurine code. Ah, I see. Select my figurine and find out how to use it. Let us once again return to the adventure. So by, so by completing the quest lines of the individual characters, we can build the Oriana figure and then play as Oriana. If you have the fortitude for my domain of the dead, then why not visit its creator? In fact, I insist. Loud rumble off in the distance, Zagor is blocked off your only entry. The only way now is up. Red liquid bubbling vigorously. Gurk, drink. I I guess I'd... Yeah, sure, drink. We'll be a vampire rhino. At north. Blood curse. I don't know what effect that has later on. We'll find out if we are a vampire rhino. But we do have... Speaking of vampires... Here's the vampire room. Investigate the room. We have a stake and a cross, so I'm down for this vampire. Death. Evil. Walk quietly. We're very large, but we'll try to be quietly. Test your luck. Oh, don't wake him up. We have so little luck. We did it. Uh, appear cautiously. Use a crucifix. Just stake him. We're gonna stake him. Must overpower him. Drive one six. Stake him. Uh, using the wooden stake amount, you hammer stake directly in the heart. His eyes look open, the creature shrieks in agony. Hammer it! The body turns visibly older, face looks 50, 90, 100, skin rots and decompose. As the remnants of vampire decay, a small black face breaks through his chest, it resembles a shrew, it frees itself. Oh yeah, the bat, we, 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 we did this. I can't, I'm not gonna take the book, I can't read. A book you cannot read. Another Y-shaped stick, we already have like three of these. You're surprised to see the book vanish, you feel around where it's completely gone, gold pieces remain. That's a lot of gold. Leave through the opening. I feel like I, I kind of feel like I should try the crucifix. How's it go down? I mean, there's what's down in this room? Have I been here before? Ornate tomb, large ominous stone sarcophagus. The far wall is a tall black mirror. Cautiously approach the sarcophagus, and you can't read. You feel a cold breath on the back of your neck, and wheel around in surprise. The sight for you is horrifying. It's a translucent, floating figure of what once may have been a man. Half of his face is decayed, exposing what would be flesh and bone if you were amongst the living. He is dressed in regal flowing robes, torn from battle, blood, and age. You either brave or foolish to be here, the ghost warns. This is my tomb. I am Greklikus Egor. Sensing your reaction, you continues, Fear not, adventure. I'm not here to harm you. I'm more concerned my son ruining the family name. Despicable deeds he has performed. Shame me, I cannot resist. You get gestures to the black mirror and a piece of ghostly flesh detaches and falls to the floor with a splat. I doubt you're here to meet my son for tea, Grelekis says dryly. 
If you wish to defeat him, light the braziers on either side of my mirror. Okay, this is definitely a trick. I'm gonna do it anyway. But it's obviously a trick. Take a torch and light one of the braziers. Gracchus is thrilled. Yes, exactly like that. Now for the other one. You light the other brazier and chop the torch in surprise due to shrieking mere ripples and source and Gracchus' booming laugh echoes around the tomb. Fool, you shall have the power you desire. Enjoy the reunion of my son's demonic mother. You'll have time to reflect on your mistake. As the ghost has been mocking you, an earthly creature emerges from the mirror. It has four faces on top of its head. Each of them producing a piercing wail. Its wild gray hair whips around as it approaches to reach out with its arm attempting to grab you. This is Zagor's unholy mother, a mirror demon, eager to grab you and drag you through the mirror back to the demonic plane. Oh, it's like three mirror demons, though? That's not one mirror demon. It's just a real, real terrifying visage of, like, what appears to be multiple demons that can attack in, like, multiple ways. I'm a little scared to, like, be too adventurous here. Oh, yeah, of course. Were you even attacking diagonally, or is it just on this side? Oh yeah, we were attacking diagonally, and we're equal on skill. And I lost the roll. And I'm stunned. I don't remember how she moves. She moves sideways. Good to know. She went. Alright, we got her. That's a good hit. I punch her in the face. One down. They all die. That's really good, because I, I wasn't confident we were going to make it. You defeat the mirror demon. With a mighty blow, he finished off the demon. Shrieking suddenly stops, only to be replaced by an ear-splitting sound. You watch on as cracks start across its body, speeding across its multiple faces and limbs. There is a twisted, anguished cry from the creature, and the demon shatters into tiny fragments, which scatter across the tomb. Grecus is furious. No, no, it shall not end here. Although I am bound to my place of rest, you shall not survive this place. The domain of the dead will be your tomb. My son shall see to that. The ghost flies in your furious rage, and you simply put up your hands to protect yourself. There's a sudden chill, and then nothing. He has vanished. You decide to return before meeting any more relatives. Leaving the tomb, you return the spiral staircase, and there's no point in going down there. I wonder what he does if you. I wonder if he does anything if you refuse to light the braziers. The braziers. Oof. Death. Suddenly there's a horrific shriek, and it's the bat. So is that bat from the stupid... the thing? Uh, as the blood runs to attack, suddenly you feel eerie blood runs cold, and you overcome nausea. The blood curse is taking effect. Even less skill. Since an easy meal, as soon as soups in the feet. We have a lot of problems with our skill. We're very hurt. This may be, like, resurrection time soon. Like, disappointingly soon. Gotcha! Alright, his bat friends are dead. It's just him. Where are you going? Mobilize it. And slap it. Oh yeah, you can press when you're mobilized. That's like a little frustrating, isn't it? Flash. He's actually a higher skill than I am. Do I get a big good roll? I did. Defeat the Bloodwing. Despite Blood Curse managed to land a final blow, it dies, and you shake off the effects of the curse. As Bloodwing crumbles to dust, shining jewel remains on the ground, which you put on your backpack. Put in your backpack. Our right, skills restored. Which way will you go now? Have we been in here? I don't know if we've been in here. Hey, hey everyone, have I been in here? Rather plain. Oh yeah, hellhounds. Alright, I remember, because the guy is a hellhound. I, I remember. Although if the hellhound hits me, I'm probably dead. Ooh. Clashing. My skills restored, so I should win the roll. I did. He's dead. All right. You defeat the hellhound. Uh, its body turns gray, becomes ash, and then he's like, "Eh, let me leave." As you approach, fear colds. You have tarried here too long. It's time to leave. Leave the room. I wonder what this room is about. Maybe it's a, another character's special place. The domain of the dead seems to have a lot of characters. Um, seems to be important to a lot of characters. Oh yeah, the ghouls. Not almost the ghouls. Search the first body. We find we find gold, and then we leave. Yes, must leave. No, no, the ghoul is a trap. We have six stamina. I don't want to mess up and die. Finally, a bench. Rest on the bench. Consume the provisions. So we're healed. Not even fully healed because we are like a really hurt rhino man. But 
We're going to see how our illiterate barbarian rhino takes care of the maze next time. And then that gets us really close to the end. Domain of the Dead, I don't know, it's like halfway-ish, right? And then we get through the maze. And then we have a couple more areas. And then we kill Zagor. Well, yeah, we're getting kind of close-ish. I don't, I don't remember exactly, because we've only been through the whole thing once, so forgive me for that. Um, and every character has a special quest, which is part of the code. I don't know how many of those you need. Is it for every character? Is it just a few? So let's we'll investigate after we're done with this, and we uh, see what she has to say about her code. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, join the video, subscribe for more fun on Twitch.tv. I'll see you guys next time. And your obscure compliment is, you see this bench? These benches are just like tree stumps with a little bit of a back carved in. That seems like, that seems uncomfortable. I bet you can design a better bench. I'll see you later.